Jeremiah chapter 49 verses 23 through 39. Concerning Damascus. Hamath is confounded, and Arpad, for they have heard evil tidings, they are faint-hearted, there is sorrow on the sea, it cannot be quiet. Damascus is waxed feeble, and turneth herself to flee, and fear hath seized on her, anguish and sorrows have taken her, as a woman in travail. How is the city of praise not left, the city of my joy? Therefore her young men shall fall in her streets, and all the men of war shall be cut off in that day, saith the Lord of hosts. And I will kindle a fire in the wall of Damascus, and it shall consume the palaces of Ben-Adad. Concerning Keter, and concerning the kingdoms of Hazer, which Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon shall smite, thus saith the Lord, Arise ye, go up to Keter, and spoil the men of the east. Their tents and their flocks shall they take away, they shall take to themselves their curtains, and all their vessels, and their camels, and they shall cry unto them, Fear is on every side. Flee, get you far off, dwell deep, O ye inhabitants of Hazer, saith the Lord, for Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon hath taken counsel against you, and hath conceived a purpose against you. Arise, get you up unto the wealthy nation, that dwelleth without care, saith the Lord, which have neither gates nor bars, which dwell alone. And their camels shall be a booty, and the multitude of their cattle a spoil, and I will scatter into all whens them that are in the utmost corners, and I will bring their calamity from all sides thereof, saith the Lord. And Hazer shall be a dwelling for dragons, and a desolation for ever, there shall no man abide there, nor any son of man dwell in it. The word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah the prophet against Elam in the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah king of Judah, saying. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will break the bow of Elam, the chief of their might. And upon Elam will I bring the four winds from the four quarters of heaven, and will scatter them toward all those winds, and there shall be no nation whither the outcasts of Elam shall not come. For I will cause Elam to be dismayed before their enemies, and before them that seek their life, and I will bring evil upon them, even my fierce anger, saith the Lord, and I will send the sword after them, till I have consumed them. And I will set my throne in Elam, and will destroy from thence the king and the princes, saith the Lord. But it shall come to pass in the latter days, that I will bring again the captivity of Elam, saith the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 50. The word that the Lord spake against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet. Declare ye among the nations, and publish, and set up a standard, publish, and conceal not, say, Babylon is taken, Bel is confounded, Merodach is broken in pieces, her idols are confounded, her images are broken in pieces. For out of the north there cometh up a nation against her, which shall make her land desolate, and none shall dwell therein, they shall remove, they shall depart, both man and beast. In those days, and in that time, saith the Lord, the children of Israel shall come, they and the children of Judah together, going and weeping, they shall go, and seek the Lord their God. They shall ask the way to Zion with their faces thitherward, saying, Come, and let us join ourselves to the Lord in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. My people hath been lost sheep, their shepherds have caused them to go astray, they have turned them away on the mountains, they have gone from mountain to hill, they have forgotten their resting place. All that found them have devoured them, and their adversaries said, We offend not, because they have sinned against the Lord, the habitation of justice, even the Lord, the hope of their fathers. Remove out of the midst of Babylon, and go forth out of the land of the Chaldeans, and be as the he goats before the flocks. For, lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her, from thence she shall be taken, their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man none shall return in vain. And Chaldea shall be a spoil, all that spoil her shall be satisfied, saith the Lord. Because ye were glad, because ye rejoiced, O ye destroyers of mine heritage, because ye are grown fat as the heifer at grass, and bellow as bulls. Your mother shall be sore confounded, she that bare you shall be ashamed, behold, the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Because of the wrath of the Lord it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate, every one that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished, and hiss at all her plagues. Put yourselves in array against Babylon round about, all ye that bend the bow, shoot at her, spare no arrows, for she hath sinned against the Lord. Shout against her round about, she hath given her hand, her foundations are fallen, her walls are thrown down, for it is the vengeance of the Lord, take vengeance upon her, as she hath done, do unto her. Cut off the sower from Babylon, and him that handeth the sickle in the time of harvest. For fear of the oppressing sword they shall turn every one to his people, and they shall flee every one to his own land. Israel is a scattered sheep, the lions have driven him away, 
first the king of Assyria hath devoured him, and last this Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon hath broken his bones. Therefore thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will punish the king of Babylon and his land, as I have punished the king of Assyria. And I will bring Israel again to his habitation, and he shall feed on Carmel and Bashan, and his soul shall be satisfied upon Mount Ephraim and Gilead. In those days, and in that time, saith the Lord, the iniquity of Israel shall be sought for, and there shall be none, and the sins of Judah, and they shall not be found, for I will pardon them whom I reserve. Go up against the land of Marathaim, even against it, and against the inhabitants of Pekad, waste and utterly destroy after them, saith the Lord, and do according to all that I have commanded thee. A sound of battle is in the land, and of great destruction. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How is Babylon become a desolation among the nations? I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon, and thou wast not aware, thou art found, and also caught, because thou hast striven against the Lord. The Lord hath opened his armory, and hath brought forth the weapons of his indignation, for this is the work of the Lord God of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. Come against her from the utmost border, open her storehouses, cast her up as heaps, and destroy her utterly, let nothing of her be left. Slay all her bullocks, let them go down to the slaughter, woe unto them. For their day is come, the time of their visitation. The voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon, to declare in Zion the vengeance of the Lord our God, the vengeance of His temple. Call together the archers against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow, camp against it round about, let none thereof escape, recompense her according to her work, according to all that she hath done, do unto her, for she hath been proud against the Lord, against the Holy One of Israel. Therefore shall her young men fall in the streets, and all her men of war shall be cut off in that day, saith the Lord. Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud, saith the Lord God of hosts, for thy day is come, the time that I will visit thee. And the most proud shall stumble and fall, and none shall raise him up, and I will kindle a fire in his cities, and it shall devour all round about him. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, The children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast, they refused to let them go. Their Redeemer is strong, the Lord of hosts is his name, he shall thoroughly plead their cause, that he may give rest to the land, and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. A sword is upon the Chaldeans, saith the Lord, and upon the inhabitants of Babylon, and upon her princes, and upon her wise men. A sword is upon the liars, and they shall dote, a sword is upon her mighty men, and they shall be dismayed. A sword is upon their horses, and upon their chariots, and upon all the mingled people that are in the midst of her, and they shall become as women, a sword is upon her treasures, and they shall be robbed. A drought is upon her waters, and they shall be dried up, for it is the land of graven images, and they are mad upon their idols. Therefore the wild beasts of the desert with the wild beasts of the islands shall dwell there, and the owls shall dwell therein, and it shall be no more inhabited for ever, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. As God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighbor cities thereof, saith the Lord, so shall no man abide there, neither shall any son of man dwell therein. Behold, a people shall come from the north, and a great nation, and many kings shall be raised up from the coasts of the earth. They shall hold the bow and the lance, they are cruel, and will not show mercy, their voice shall roar like the sea, and they shall ride upon horses, every one put in array, like a man to the battle, against thee, O daughter of Babylon. The king of Babylon hath heard the report of them, and his hands waxed feeble, anguish took hold of him, and pangs as of a woman in travail. Behold, he shall come up like a lion from the swelling of Jordan unto the habitation of the strong, but I will make them suddenly run away from her, and who is a chosen man, that I may appoint over her? For who is like me? And who will appoint me the time? And who is that shepherd that will stand before me? Therefore hear ye the counsel of the Lord, that he hath taken against Babylon, and his purposes, that he hath purposed against the land of the Chaldeans, surely the least of the flock shall draw them out, surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. At the noise of the taking of Babylon the earth is moved, and the cry is heard among the nations. Titus chapter 1. Paul, a servant of God, and an apostle of Jesus Christ, according to the faith of God's elect, and the acknowledging of the truth which is after godliness. In hope of eternal life, which God, that cannot lie, promised before the world began but hath in due times manifested his word through preaching, which is committed unto me according to the commandment of God our Saviour. To Titus, mine own son after the common faith, grace, mercy, and peace, from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ our Saviour. For this cause left I thee in Crete, 
that thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting, and ordain elders in every city, as I had appointed thee. If any be blameless, the husband of one wife, having faithful children not accused of riot or unruly. For a bishop must be blameless, as the steward of God, not self-willed, not soon angry, not given to wine, no striker, not given to filthy lucre. But a lover of hospitality, a lover of good men, sober, just, holy, temperate. Holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, specially they of the circumcision. Whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not, for filthy lucre's sake. One of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said, The Cretans are always liars, evil beasts, slow bellies. This witness is true. Wherefore rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the faith. Not giving heed to Jewish fables, and commandments of men, that turn from the truth. Unto the pure all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure, but even their mind and conscience is defiled. They profess that they know God, but in works they deny Him, being abominable, and disobedient, and unto every good work reprobate. Psalms chapter 97. The Lord reigneth, let the earth rejoice, let the multitude of isles be glad thereof. Clouds and darkness are round about Him, righteousness and judgment are the habitation of His throne. A fire goeth before Him, and burneth up His enemies round about. His lightnings enlightened the world, the earth saw, and trembled. The hills melted like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare His righteousness, and all the people see His glory. Confounded be all they that serve graven images, that boast themselves of idols, worship Him, all ye gods. Zion heard, and was glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of thy judgments, O Lord. For thou, Lord, art high above all the earth, thou art exalted far above all gods. Ye that love the Lord, hate evil, he preserveth the souls of his saints, he delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous, and gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Psalms chapter 98. O sing unto the Lord a new song, for he hath done marvelous things, his right hand, and his holy arm, hath gotten him the victory. The Lord hath made known his salvation, his righteousness hath he openly showed in the sight of the heathen. He hath remembered his mercy and his truth toward the house of Israel, all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the earth, make a loud noise, and rejoice, and sing praise. Sing unto the Lord with the harp, with the harp, and the voice of a psalm. With trumpets and sound of cornet make a joyful noise before the Lord, the King. Let the sea roar, and the fullness thereof, the world, and they that dwell therein. Let the floods clap their hands, let the hills be joyful together before the Lord, for He cometh to judge the earth, with righteousness shall He judge the world, and the people with equity. Proverbs chapter 26 verses 13 through 16. The slothful man saith, There is a lion in the way, a lion is in the streets. As the door turneth upon his hinges, so doth the slothful upon his bed. The slothful hideth his hand in his bosom it grieveth him to bring it again to his mouth. The sluggard is wiser in his own conceit than seven men that can render a reason.